Let's talk about MaxWeed. So MaxWeed is the way of making our content area to uh, not getting too much big, okay? So here in this example, you can see that I have these pink wings, which I've created in the editor, and just to demonstrate uh, um, the max width uh, feature. So here you can see that if I make my, my browser wider, so th the things that are getting wider is this area. Um, but if I make it uh, narrower, so you can see that at some point um, the design start scaling down. Okay, so this is uh, in general max width. But before we will jump into the editor to see everything, uh, I want to show you a real life examples. So this is the awards website. Uh, and you can see that it looks like the design is filling the entire width of the screen. But if we will make our screen wider, which uh, same as I did before and it will be difficult to show you but although you can see that here we start to see like the white space um, so instead I will um, uh, minimize my my view so I can click command minus and now it will be like 50% so you can see that at some point the design is uh, uh, stayed at the middle and stop from growing but instead you can see these white spaces. Uh, again, here you can see it uh, very, very clear. And if I make my screen uh, shorter, uh, narrower, so you can see at the some point, everything is start scaling down. Okay, so this is uh, one example. The second example is the Nike website. And the reason that I show you another example because here we have some exception. In the hero fold, um, this one is always keeping, uh, uh, is, is taking the entire screen width, no matter what size of the screen it is. And uh, the galleries of products are, have some max content. So again, let's minimize the screen. So you can see now it will be 50%. And you can see that the hero is always taking the entire width of the screen, but the product are um, uh, are getting some max content and again if I'll make my screen shorter you can see that the wings are, uh, are getting uh, smaller uh, and at, at some point they are start to scaling down um, all right so we will see also how we can do it in the editor all right so this is our editor and you can see that now I'm at uh, a, a big screen, uh, nine by ninety twenty, and and let's create a new section above. So this is the default view of a new section, right? It's a it's an empty section, and you can see these uh, these lines. Okay, this is demonstrate the uh, content area. For example, if I'll add a container or image and stretch it, you can see that it stopped from stretching at this area. The reason for that is because we have some, by default, we have some max width. Um, and you can see it in the section property. Uh, currently, I am at the advanced mode, but if, if, even if I turn it off, um, it's here. Okay, uh, you can see that you have some max width and you can see it also here. Um, so this is how it looks inside the editor and we have some topics to discuss. So what does max width does not affect? So we see that it affected the content that is uh, inside the section, right? but it's not uh, affecting uh, the background color of the section. You can see that it feels the entire, it's ignoring, basically it's ignoring the max width. And also if I'll add uh, media, for example, an image, it also ignoring the max width. Okay, this is the two things that are not 
affecting by the max width. Um, let's delete this one, we don't need it. Okay, the second question is that what if I don't want to use it? So here, for example, I have uh, the max, the max width is 4040 and I can override it uh, in, two in two ways. The first way is I can go to the page settings, um, sorry, to the theme settings and then go to the max width. Here you can see the default value. This is not, I, I've changed it, but you can see the default value. So the easiest way to, uh, uh, to override it is to set here like very, very big number. For example, 999999. Okay, and now it will not affect your design. Um, let's bring it back. Um, the second way that you can um, override it is by, let's select the section, by turn it off, by clicking, uh, by removing the max width. The, the difference between these two methods is that this toggle is only affecting the current section. But if you change it from the theme, it will affect the global settings. So it will apply for all sections. All right, what else we want to cover? Um, can I make an exception? So let's say, let's say that I do want to, uh, uh, to use the max width, like the global one. Let's bring it back for this section. I do want to use it, but I want to do an exception. So as we say just now, we can turn it off for a specific section and we can keep working for all the other sections with the default sec settings. Um, okay, can I make, uh, sorry, we talked about it. Um, can we change the max width per breakpoints? So, the answer, the answer is no, but um, I will show you how you can create your own max width. So for that, you need to go to the advanced mode. So if I'll select um, my section, I can turn it off. I don't want to use it here and I can create my own. For that, I need to go to the advanced settings. So let's go to the, um, uh, you know what, I, I can apply to a specific element. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to not place the elements to be direct child of the section. So this is the section. So instead, I have a container. But let's remove this container and do everything from scratch. So right now, right now, you can see that the this tag of text is inside the section. It's a direct child of the section. So instead, I will place all my elements inside a container. So I can stretch this container to cover the, to cover the entire section. And just for now, I will give it a different color. So we'll see everything very clear. Okay, so this is the container. And now I'll select this tag and drag it inside now you can see that it's inside this container okay so now let's place it um, as we want and now we can apply max content to this container let's give it a name max with container okay so now we don't really want it to be stretched okay i did it just for for the, the quick action so let's remove the stretch. I don't want it to be stretched. And now I will apply the advanced settings. Okay. So I will set the width of this container to be 100%. He wants always to be 100%. I don't need the minimum height. Uh, let's set it to be 100 VH just for this example. Um, and now I can set maximum width. So I can do exactly the same as I have in the global max width settings, 40, 40. 
okay so you can see that it has some limitation the stack is too big I see 100% okay so now you can see it, it wants to be a hundred percent but it cannot be bigger than this uh, th this number okay so if I'll start I start to to make our section uh, smaller my screen smaller so you can see the the wings are getting bigger but when they reach to the uh, to the max settings it starts to scale down so in this method you can you can now go to the uh, tablet for example and set a different max width so here for example I can set don't be bigger than 600 pixels okay so we are getting exactly the same again I need to fix the stack for some reason 100% okay so now you can see that I can uh, I see that the the wings are uh, getting bigger or smaller but when they reach to the uh, I set max width of 600 is is smaller than the tablet so let's let's do uh, 800 okay so now because my screen is smaller than 800 so the container is filling the entire uh, width of the screen but if I make it bigger so you can see that at some point when we are over 800 pixels now we see uh, um, the wings are applying okay uh, again I can set different value to mobile um, and another another good thing uh, to use this method sometimes is that you do want to use the global settings for all your design but sometimes you want to have a, uh, um, uh, an exception for a specific layout for example I want to have uh, let's let's add an image to uh, this section okay I'll stretch it and I want to bring back the max width of the section okay so now the image is behind this container so let's remove the background color and let's change the image to something else uh, so we can see the typography I don't know, let's pick this one okay so I do want to use the max width okay for the image to get uh, some limitation of the width but I want to have a different max width for the content inside so I can set it to be for example uh, 1024 pixels from this where this image is get wait oh it's sorry it's inside it's inside the container let's get rid of it and let's change its image okay so now the image is limited by the section max width or the, gl the global max width but here I have a, a container that is contain this um, container so we can set it to be um, for example max width of, of uh, 1024 pixels and now I'm getting a different unit per breakpoints okay this layout is very common uh, it's kind of a blog article so when you have like a big image and then you have below um, let's demonstrate it uh, so we have like a big cover image okay something like this and the article content is like smaller and here you can have like a, a paragraph that um, that uh, start the article okay something like this uh, blah 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 okay something like this so this is the way you can create your own custom max width uh, let's see if we have something else no uh, so that is this is about max width let me know if you have any more questions and until next time
keep building amazing websites on Wix Studio.